All right, now that we hopped across the Mississippi River, we're going to go to Caledonia. We all know that incredible winning streak they've had for how many years. That was just like unseen, unforetold, to uncharted territory, and arguably could have a Disney movie made about it. All they were missing was the tragedy to get that low-budget Disney film. Yes, those do exist. But, Caledonia is kicking off 2023 with their typical high expectations. Which, really doesn't surprise me. Look how many state titles they've won. How many deep playoff ones they go. High school football fever is alive and well. Caledonia is hoping it's the first of many practices to keep going on. They, they returned eight starters for a team that went 8-3 and three last year, and I think that was the first season in a while where they actually had a couple of L's in the loss column. It's a program that has rediscovered its winning mojo, and, well, you know what that means for a win place with winning mojo. They're going to be doing a lot and wanting to keep their winning ways alive. Hey, just got my he headphones blasting off here. Hit one wrong button and you blast your eardrums out, jeez. But anyways, back to Catalonia. That program, they rediscovered their winning mojo. They made it to the section championship last year and ultimately lost because others were said state. And that has set the stage for a great offseason for a program that's used to be in state spotlight and looks to do so again this year. Their coach, Kyle Fruchek, said we feel we're going to have the typical Caledonia team. Good speed, good quicks, great effort. Just play extremely hard and see what happens. To me, that's the most important thing to get through the young men is to play hard. Take care of your teammates and come together as a brotherhood. So, what happens now for Caledonia to have a special season? Well, their senior lineman said, more discipline, not jumping off sides. The little things are the big things. Caledonia is opening up their season September 1st at Zumbrota Mazeppa. Now that, right there, is a tongue twister.